Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this video. I don't know why. I pulled this last night, and all I've been thinking about is I cannot wait to sit behind the camera, or in front of the camera, and share with you guys this melting basket. Now, it's still January. I feel like January is the longest month of the year, and it's that point where most of us, at least I know I am, I'm over the balsam and tree and mint fragrances, but I'm not quite ready to dive into the bright florals and things like that. Even though I love my florals in the spring, I just, I'm in that weird, what am I going to melt mood? So I've been melting a lot of bakery. I've been melting a lot of things that I just want to get rid of, but I've been craving strawberry and I don't know why. But I've been looking through my stash, and I've just been getting so excited for all things strawberry. Now, I did pull a Valentine's Day basket. It's going to be from the bathing garden, and that's going to be like an experimental week for me because I haven't really melted anything from the bathing garden yet. It's just been sitting, and the first order I ever placed with them was for Valentine's Day, so it's been a year sitting under my bed, so I'm super excited to get to melt that. But besides that, I pulled a strawberry basket, and I am so excited. So without further ado, let's get into it. It was like 10 o'clock last night, and I was like, I wanna pull that strawberry basket so bad, I've been thinking about it. So I'm sitting here on my floor in my office, just pulling open all of my vendors, and I have a variety of vendors, and all of this is strawberry forward. Now, the only thing I'm a little worried about is going nose blind through the week on strawberry. The only thing is between work and life and the gym and running errands, like I'm in and out of the house quite a bit. So by being out of the house and coming back, I'm hoping that melting so much strawberry, I won't become nose blind or sick of it by the end of the week. Again, this is being filmed at the beginning of the week. So at the end, when I do my empties, we will see did I get sick of the strawberry? And did I actually melt through all of this? Because I definitely pulled quite a bit. I don't think I'm going to get through all of it, but I do want to get through a majority of it. First, I did pull two strawberry pound cake candles because even though I'm melting a ton of strawberry, I want to be burning some candles during this time. So I have two strawberry pound cake candles from Bath & Body Works. We all know strawberry pound cake, fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Delicious, yum, and I love how bright and juicy this label is with the strawberries and the plants and the ladybug. So I'm excited I pulled two of these, and I'll have no problem finishing both of these do during the week. All right, let's just dive right into the basket. Starting with, we'll start right here with Sassy Girl Aroma. I pulled a brittle in Matthias. Now, Matthias is Strawberry Bread Noel, and this scent, you guys is so good. It's warm, rich, yeasty bread smothered with like strawberry jam. I don't really get any vanilla bean Noel, but it's just like a delicious, rich strawberry bakery. Now, I did not pull the circus bread from the bathing garden, which is an amazing strawberry because I'm doing a bathing garden week. So I figured this is as close to it. Then I pulled out this beautiful brittle in Sandcastle. Sandcastle is Beach Nights Strawberry Summer Scoop. So Summer Scoop is like strawberry ice cream. So there's strawberry ice cream, strawberry, and Beach Nights. And Sassy Girl Aroma has an incredible Beach Nights oil. And this is no exception. It's that delicious, marshmallowy, toasty Beach Nights with that rich, creamy strawberry ice cream. Oh. So yummy. Strawberry scents just make me so happy. I am so excited for this basket. All right. Next, I have from Harper James, just strawberry pound cake. So this I might either blend with things, melt it on its own. I really don't get good performance with Harper James. She's a vendor I would not repurchase from. Uh, this is strawberry lemon zest pound cake and whipped cream. So just classic strawberry pound cake. So I have a brittle from her. Want to use that up. Next, from Dessa's, this is Fresh Bread and Jam, and this is Crusty Bread, Crusty Baked Bread and Sweet Strawberry Jam, and I love Dessa's. 
And this fresh bread and jam is so good. This is... Whereas the Matthias is more of like a yeasty forward bread, this is more of that like dark, like crusty bread, like an Italian bread almost. Really, really, really yummy. So I'm excited. So I have some brittles to go through with strawberry. All right. I have one of the beautiful postcards from Vintage Chic Scents. Look at how pretty those are. And this is in Martha's Strawberry Cheesecake. And this is zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, strawberry cheesecake, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. I'm excited to melt this. This is probably going to be a bedroom melt because even though it's large, it's really thin. So when I break this into pieces... And this is really nice. This is a very, 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 very creamy strawberry cheesecake blend. Very creamy. Like the most decadent and rich. With a little bit of that zucchini bread. Super yummy. And this was poured in January of 2021. So it's going on two years old. So I definitely want to melt that up and enjoy. Now let's move on to loaves. I think it wouldn't be a strawberry week without some Destination Wax strawberry seeds. And this is Sweet and Zesty Strawberry. This is one of my favorite strawberry scents from Destination Wax. And in general, it's just a very bright, juicy, jammy strawberry. Super yummy. So I have a loaf of that to use up. I'm excited. And then from L3 Waxy Wonders, I did strawberry jam zucchini bread. And this, oh, this is so good. Yeah, I'm actually, this I got, this I got January 22nd of 2022. And today is the 21st. So it's almost a year, it's literally a year old now. And this is nice. It's that strawberry jam that L3 is known for, which I also have in a trig tart. But I'll talk about that because that's actually pulled to mix. But Oh, this is really yummy. This is really yummy. Her zucchini bread is so good, and her strawberry jam is so yummy. So, a simple blend, but a really nice bakery. And I think I'm going to alternate the days, too. Some days I'll do, like, fruity, fruity strawberry, and some days I'll do more strawberry bakery, just to alternate them. Next, strawberry cupcakes from Sassy Girl Aroma in a loaf. This scent, you guys is so good. On cold, it does nothing for me. It's strawberry, vanilla cupcake, and buttercream frosting. But when you warm this up, I've had it before, it comes alive and it is like the moistest yellow cake. And if you break into it, the jam just squirts out and it's this rich, delicious, like the L3 strawberry jam with buttercream. It comes alive when you warm it. So I'm so excited to melt the strawberry cupcakes. It's going to be a great smelling day in my house then. And since I keep talking about this one, I have a trig tart from L3 and Strawberry Jam. And I pulled this because I want to melt strawberry jam with pretzel. And I have a few of her scoops in pretzel that I just love. It's that yeasty, salty, delicious pretzel, and I like mixing her scoops with harder wax so it's easier to pull out. So I have the scoop of pretzel and the trick tart of strawberry jam that I'm going to melt together, and I think it's going to be a delicious day in this house. I pulled from Vintage Chic Scents these, like, butterfly bags from her Dolly Parton restock in... Little Sparrow, and this is strawberry pound cake, raspberry jam, and glazed donuts, and I love her raspberry jam, so mixed with the strawberry pound cake, oh, and a little bit of that delicious donut, mm, whoops, so good, I just lost the butterfly, but you see, they are so pretty, you guys, they're so detailed, a little bit of glitter on there, so these are nice to just pop one or two in a warmer and call it a day, so... I'm excited to pull those. From Empire Alchemy, I have Main Street Strawberry. This is a very hyped scent. Waffle cone, vanilla ice cream, fresh fried beignets, kettle corn, and fresh strawberries. So I'm excited to melt this. You definitely get the strawberry. You get the, cor the kettle corn. You get like a very creamy creaminess from the vanilla. Mm, it's delish. So I'm excited. I've had okay luck with Empire Alchemy. They're not a vendor that I think I would repurchase from. It's just not one that really stands out to me. But I'm excited for that. 
I already melted a tiny bit of this loaf just to try it because everybody was obsessed and I love it too. So this is from Birdie's Making Sense in Hannah's Baby. Really excited for this. And this is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. So a little bit different than just plain strawberry. Oh, so good. It's good on cold, but when you warm this up, it just, it comes alive. The strawberry does something magical with the zucchini bread that I can't even describe. It is heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. So really excited to melt this Hannah's baby. I'll finish that up. I have from Teddy Bee's two tubs, one in Strawberry Lover's Dream. This I do not love on cold. This is fresh strawberries, sugar cookies, strawberry frosting, and moist cake. But her scents definitely um, develop in the warmer. Yeah, it smells just very artificial and plasticky to me. So I'm not really sure. I will have to melt that and see if it comes alive. I'm not the hugest fan of it on cold. And then I pulled Witches Be Crazy for Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, birthday cake, pecan waffles, a sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, and strawberry pound cake type. Now this scent, it's okay. Also, I've noticed with Teddy Bee's, Witches Be Crazy is not my favorite blend. It almost, and I don't know if it's her birthday cake oil or what, but it comes across a little plasticky and a little artificial. All of her Witches Be Crazies do. And I've noticed that the more I warm it and the more that I'm like sitting on it and smelling Witches Be Crazy, that it's not my favorite blend. I definitely prefer like milk and cookies if I'm going to do like a bakery blender with things than Witches Be Crazy. So we shall see if the strawberry pound cake overpowers it. All right. I have from Kay's, I have bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla, which is a um, Bath and Body Works dupe. It's okay. I don't love that scent. And then I have a trio or a uh, creative scent, Serendipity, a Strawberry Pound Cake, and Boom Boom. And this is nice. I really like the way that this smells. You definitely get the Serendipity. You definitely get the Boom Boom and the Strawberry Pound Cake. It's a perfect blend, and you can smell each one individually. So I'm excited to see how that warms, especially the Boom Boom, because I feel like a lot of the times... Boom Boom gets lost in blends, but you can actually really smell it in that one. I have from Fantasy Wax. This is a three-pack of her snap bars in sugared strawberry cookies. You can see that back there. It's backwards, but I just put them all in one bag together. That way, they're easy to find that I have multiples of. And this is just a nice strawberry cookie scent. So excited to get through that. From Candles from the Keeping Room, I have homemade strawberry biscuits here and strawberry marshmallow filled jelly donut. She's known for her strawberry and I have plenty more, so I only picked two, but really excited to melt through those. From Destination Wax, I have one of her like uh, hollowed clamshells in wedding cake. Vanilla cake with a thick white frosting and a thin layer of strawberry jam, not buttery. I've melted this plenty of times. I really, really enjoy that one. I have from Vintage Chic Scents, I have a few shapes. I have Say No to This. And this is Strawberry Pound Cake, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Strawberry White Cake. I have Look What You Made Me Do, which is Strawberry Pound Cake, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Butter Fudge. I have Strawberry Shortcake Roll Ice Cream. And one of her roses, and this is yellow cake, strawberry shortcake, and vanilla ice cream. I have Aunt Nellie's Celestial Strawberry Petty Fours, which is mini angel food zucchini cake topped with sugared fresh picked strawberries and whipped cream. I have that one. And then I have Sally's Strawberry Pound Cake Bakery. Just like walking into a bakery filled with sugar cookies and strawberry pound cakes. I pulled some shapes from her. And then last but not least, I have three clams from Super Tarts. I have Happy Birthday, which is strawberry, buttercream, and a birthday cake. I have Amityville, which is lavender, mac, apple, and strawberry. This will probably be like an evening time melt for me. Excited to try that one. And then I have strawberry sauce, raspberry, Palo Santo. I haven't melted any of the Palo Santo sampler or like the scents from the Palo Santo launch that I got. This is not, all of her clams just smell plasticky to me. I am so up in the air with Super Tarts. I don't know how I feel about the brand. 
I like I like some of their scents. They don't last for me, and I just I don't know. I just I can't get behind them yet. It's just not, nothing personally. I just I can't figure out if I like them or not. But that's a lot of wax. I don't know again how much I'm gonna get through, but I definitely want to make a big dent in this. It feels really good to like clear out a lot of my vendor wax. No Scentsy this week. I might incorporate. I don't have a ton of strawberry from Scentsy, but we shall see. I just really want to try to clear out the vendor wax. So I'm doing a good job of it so far. Not bringing anything in, and yeah. So let me know what you guys are pulling this week. I'm really excited to do this strawberry basket for you guys, for me, for the apartment, for the cats, so that way they can smell all the best strawberry. And I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter, and I love you all so much. Bye, guys.